What's going on gang? This is the 1st of December and I need to have a conversation with you in terms of trying to be successful. As you know, I have my phone number on my other channel and I'm running, you know, people can call in and I'm getting a lot of people who want to speak to me, who are some cases, I have one person who was literally pissed off because I did not answer the phone when they called. To the people who think like this, and this is an educational video, busy people are not sitting around waiting to help you be successful. And this is the message. You can do this if you rid yourself of these felonious notions. You can be successful. You can become a millionaire. You can become a business owner if you change your thinking. I've got a lot of people who are not business owners. And this is one of the things that I have a big problem with. I have 30 days to 2,500, which is free. The money management course, which is free. The hustler's mindset audio book, pimping your mind for success, which is free. And a set of lectures, which are free. Four free things that if you were to download them, enroll in the courses, take action, you would have money. Cause I got love for the broke dick Dannys. Cause I used to be broke dick Danny. I got love for the penniless Priscilla. I got love for the common man. Here is the big, big issue. Many of you do not have a complete understanding of the level of activity that you must start to do to become successful. Let me give you an example. When I was in the storage auction business, in the beginning, it was rough. I call this the gauntlet. Whenever you take on some new endeavor or new business, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Everything that can be a, a hindrance, a problem, a delay, very frustrating, all of this stuff just comes at you, right? And I was like getting my butt handed to me. They were playing with me. They were running me up on units. I noticed that the, the, the more successful ones of them always had money to buy. And this really stood out, I was like, how come they always have money to buy? They can't be buying these garbage units. I went through the gauntlet of losing money, wasting time, not a waste of time, it was an educational experience, I learned a lot. And then I got to the position, and I remember this one day, I cataloged, because I'm a scientist by training, I used to work in the lab, and I noticed that all of the big dog buyers bought big units, what I used to call full from the ruler to the tutor. They consistently bought these units. And one of the things that I was able to deduce, because you know, I bought my first big boy unit. It cost me all of the money I had in my pocket. It was $540 and I had $550. And it was a 10 by 30 from the ruler to the Tuda. And my partner, we went to, we had to uh, use the credit card to uh, rent a U-Haul to clean this sucker out. And the first 10 feet was junk. And it was looking really, really depressing because my partner was looking at me and the more we took, but then we got to the middle and there was some fine furniture pieces. There was a dining room set. There was three bedroom sets. One of those bedroom sets I was able to sell for $750, just one washer and dryer, refrigerator, stove. Then we got to the back and there was a bunch of collectibles. So that $540 turned into $12,000. And I was like, that's the ticket. That's why they buy these units because proportionally they're cheaper than the units. Just to give you a little education, people bought units based upon capacity. So they bought units that they could move. They did not buy units based upon value. And once I started to buy units based upon value, drastically increasing my capacity, I started to win in the storage auction game. And I, I tell this story to you because many of you are trying to be successful without increasing your capacity. I totally get it. This is how many of these uh, course creators market their course. You don't have to have an email list. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, but you can make 10, 20, $30,000 per month remaining exactly the way you are. And that is very seductive. And I want you to fight against it because it's not true. Because just like in that story where I had to dramatically increase my capacity to start winning, You've got to do this in your life. If you call, don't say, hey, this is my name, call me back. I'm not gonna call you back because that tells me that you're not a serious person. A serious person is my name, this is my number, this is what I'm calling about. And this is an educational moment for you. You need to be 
really clear on what you want. Give you an example. In my garage is a 2019 Porsche 911 S. First time I saw one, I saw one that was this baby blue in 2017. And at that point I said, you know what? I'm getting me one of these. 2017, I was like, I'm gonna get me one of these. And what did I do? I created a plan. I gotta do X, Y, Z before I get one of these cars. Cause I could have got it in 2017, but that wouldn't have been a really good judicial use of funds. So I set an income goal. And once I reached that income goal, I went and got my Porsche. I saw it in 2017. I could have got it the regular way, you know, just went ahead and bought it. But this is how I keep pushing myself. If I want something, I set a outrageous income goal. And once I hit that income goal, then I go out and get it. This is how I keep myself excited. This is how I keep myself in the game. Many of you just want to go out and get stuff have stuff and enjoy it. And I'm gonna be really respectful. I say that some of you don't wanna work, which is true. And there are some of you who don't know how to work. You don't know how to put your head down because this course that I'm doing, Wealth Habits, I'm gonna start in December. And the first lesson is don't be a pussy. And I'm gonna get into a little bit of that because this right here, hands down, is the number one reason that most of you are not successful. You are afraid that if you start something, it's not gonna work out and you're gonna look bad. That area right there is one of the biggest reasons that most of you will never be successful because you're scared. You're scared of if you try, it won't work out. You're scared to get your hopes up. Let me go ahead and give you another example. In like, I guess 2008-ish, 2000, no, maybe 2005. I was dating online, Match.com, which was way better than what it is today. It is, it was way better back then. It was still somewhat frustrating. I had already developed the Craigslist protocols to sell furniture, washer and dryers and stuff. And I went to, and I noticed something, because this is one of the things that you discover when you're in it. I was a reseller. I was going to storage auctions. I was running a lot of ads on Craigslist, okay? And I noticed that a ton of attractive women came into the warehouse from Craigslist. And I started to think, I wonder how many of these women peruse the personal sections. So I went to the personal section, I started writing ads. And one of the, the best things I ever did was check out the ads of the other guy. They were horrible. So I began to write these grammatically correct typo free ads for women. This is a big thing. If you cannot spell and type and you cannot communicate correctly. And I begin to run baby test and start testing stuff. And I developed a protocol through trial and error that allowed me to enjoy a tremendously robust dating life. These protocols, which I created years and years ago, I started applying them to the sugar baby websites. And guess what? They still work. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to get involved. Don't be afraid to get started because this right here, you know, in that one space, cause like I, I give you guys so much 30 days to 2,500. I had someone in this in the class who was making 10,000 a month, just using that course. He went to 30 to 40,000 a month using that course. It's a good course. And oh, you know, someone put a comment. How come I can't just watch all the videos? All right. You gotta do it. This is, Ah, this, this is so frustrating. So many of you just want to like speed through the course without actually doing the course. It's designed that way because you got to do the task. Just speeding through the course and not doing the task, you're not going to get any results. It's designed that way so you would do the task. You know, if you go through 30 days to 2500, you're looking at it's going to take you about two months. If you go through it correctly and don't just like skip over stuff and like, I ain't gonna do this, I ain't gonna do that. I mean, it, it's just frustrating because you must become a doer. This is the thing that I want you guys to understand. You must become an activity driven person. You must start doing stuff. I get this come. Hey, Glendon, can you recommend some books I should read? I can recommend a few that I have read, but you know what? I spend most of my time doing. I don't spend my time reading. I don't spend my time watching YouTube videos. I spend my time actually in the laboratory of my business. It's like, if I do this, what's gonna happen? Well, let's do it. Let's see what happens. If I write this email, what's gonna happen? If I to create this course, and if I do this, what's gonna happen? If I create this, I'm, I'm doing. I mean, all of you haters who watch everything I do, who 
He messed up. He made the mistake. He has a typographical error. How come y'all are not watching my action and my action points? How come y'all ain't trying to copy that? Let me tell you, because you are a loser and you have loser habits and loser thoughts. Anyone that gets excited when someone that has done nothing to them fails or runs into a hardship is a loser. I don't cheer when women hit the wall. I'm not looking for anyone to fail or to experience misfortune unless someone like mess me over, then okay, yeah, I'm all for that. But for someone I don't know that's never done anything to me, I want everybody to win. I want everyone to have success. I want everyone to enjoy life. I want everyone to live their best life possible. You wanna know why? Because I'm living my best life. I'm driving a Porsche, brand new Porsche, brand new BMW. I'm probably gonna get a third car and I'm enjoying life. I'm going to a sugar baby website and getting women without spending any money. I'm enjoying life. I'm having the time of my life and I want you to have the time of your life. And I'm here to tell you all of these internet scams that tell you you can make all of this money without making any personal changes of habits and who you are. I'm here to tell you it's fundamentally not true. I'm here to tell you that one of the things that you have to understand and you have to get to acknowledge is if you are poor or you're in a situation where you don't have money, okay? The decisions that you made 10 years ago are why you are where you are today. Once again, all you haters who are looking at me who are like, he's selling online courses. Oh, he's selling online courses. He's on YouTube, he's pimping YouTube. Okay, let's say that was true. I do sell online courses. I do use YouTube. How come you ain't doing it? Oh, you don't have enough talent? Oh, go ahead and be honest. Just go ahead and say, I can't do it, G, because I don't have the talent. I don't have the skill sets. I don't have the communication skills. I don't have the work ethic. Go ahead and say that, please. Please say that because I'm here to tell you any successful YouTuber puts in work. I know you like to see these little kids who look like they're doing this effortlessly. I have been around some of these YouTubers who will literally shoot a video 10 times before they release it, 10 times. You know, you haters, you hate the fact that I'm right. You hate the fact that I tell you the truth and you hate the fact that I tell you the truth about yourself. One of the things I want you to understand is you can win if you change your you. That's one of the hardest things you're gonna ever do in life is to change yourself. And I'm here to tell you that whatever you want, if you wanna live in a mansion, you can do it. If you wanted to drive supercar, like someone's like, hey, how come you don't have a Lambo? If I wanted a Lambo, I would have one. I just prefer the Porsche more so than the Lambo. It's a daily driver. And also that Porsche, if I put it in sport mode and hit the suspension, it, it ain't a daily driver. That sucker is rough. You can have whatever you want if you're willing to pay the price. And many of you don't even know what the price is or what price you should be paying or what you should be doing to get the things that you want in life. And I'm here to tell you that you can have anything. If you want a Lamborghini in a mansion, you can have it. But how do you get there? First of all, securing the bag. Chasing money for the sake of money is a fool's errand. If you do not create or build something that helps out a multitude of other people, you're not gonna get there. Right now, we have a pandemic. I am making more money than I've ever made in my life during the pandemic. Why? I took action. I started doing more videos. I created a new course. I started doing more, the do more principle. And many of you are just sitting there in incapacitated with fear. You don't wanna fail. And I'm here to tell you, let's talk about failure. If you fail a lot, you will win more. It's a true story with the Craig's Loss Protocols. I had this one chick, she had me come all the way to Gwinnett County and she looked at me and she said, not you. She, it was in a public space, so I couldn't trip, I couldn't clown, so I just left. Two months later, that same chick answered another ad and she came to me. So many of you would have been like destroyed. And this, this is one of the things, failure will toughen you up. Failure will make you more resilient. Failure will give you sea legs, so to speak. Because like I said, I have no fear of putting out a course and if it don't work, I'm like, it didn't work, okay. And my haters are like, ah, he ain't selling anything. Oh, he started this YouTube channel and it didn't work. Ah, ah, 
I wonder how miserable your life is when you get the joy out of me not winning. I get no joy out of people losing. Uh, there's this one idiot, I forget his name, uh, I blocked him because there is something about me that triggers this fool that actually, and I think it's my stunning success because I am successful. I'm rich, I live well, I eat well, I date well, and I don't make any apologies for living this good life. I make none whatsoever because I work and I've earned it. If you, once again, start doing more, start putting out, start hustling, start taking massive activity, you can have this kind of life too. I, I didn't grow up with no spoon in my mouth. I had no rich parents, nothing. Everything I have, I built brick by brick myself. And you can do the same thing. But once again, you gotta stop being a pussy. I guarantee you, if you have the courage to do this, if you approach every woman that you think is hot, and like, I'm gonna approach her, I'm gonna introduce myself, and I'm going to spit my game. If you consistently did that, let's say you did that five times a day, 25, and took weekends off, you did it 25 times a week, you approached five women with your game, guess what? Your dating life would dramatically improve. There's a lot of women that get turned on because it's like, I was working at this gym and this, there was this blonde and she was smoking hot and she had those conical breasts, those pointy breasts. I just, you know, after workout, sweaty and everything, I went up to her and I said, damn, you're really hot. We should go out. That's it. And she said, okay. And I got her name, got her number, and we went out, had a good time and we dated six months. Never would have happened if I didn't approach her. And you know what she told me? She says, I don't know. It's like, it kind of turned me on when you approach me. It's like a lot of guys don't approach me. It's like, I scare God. But she was delicious. She was beautiful. A lot of guys will not approach a chick like that. So when you approach a chick like that, it kind of turns you on. I'm getting here, I'm telling you this stuff because there's a lot of men with these male channels who don't have my resume, who've not done any of the stuff I've done. Not pulled off any of the thing. And Ron Wills, shout out to Ron Wills, he recognizes the game and he promoted me because, you know, I was spitting the truth. And there are so many of these male channels like you act this way, you walk this way, you dress this way, you'll be successful with women. That's camouflage. That's the dressing the outer. If you work on the inner and you make your inner game strong, the things you can accomplish, the things you can get away with. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But that's all I got for you guys. For the guys of you who want to, who are winning already and want to win more, go and get enrolled in the corporate toolbox. What I'm going to do is teach you how to set up a holding company, teach you how to set up operating companies, teach you how to make them tax efficient. But more importantly, we will start cooking with gas. I'm going to teach you how to start a company from scratch. There's a lot of stuff in the corporate toolbox, how to start uh, service businesses, how to develop business credit and these um, wealth habits, which is gonna be really deep. You're gonna need those conversations. So the links below, get in the corporate toolbox, because the sooner you get in the corporate toolbox, it's the sooner you begin your two to three year journey to greatness. You can be great. You can have that life that you want if you make the decision to take action today. Links below. So I will see you guys in the next video.